How are you? Hey guys, how's it going? We're in Trinity Groves, Dallas, and we decided to come here to shoot the vlog because it's a really cool area. It has a lot of good restaurants, and I think we're gonna get some food later, and hopefully it doesn't rain because there's it's pretty cloudy out right now. So. That sounds a lot of fun, but yeah. tell us more. What is your happiest moment in poker life? Um, my happiest moment in poker, it's hard to pick just one, but um, if I had to pick, I would probably say a period of five to seven months leading up to Black Friday, which ended up working out well for me. How did it start and how did the end? So it started with me uh, playing on full tilt. There, They used to have rush poker tournaments, low buy-in and a high guarantee on them. So you could buy in for like $3, and but they would put like a five to $10,000 guarantee on them. And so it started with me winning one of those. It was a field of 1,201 people. And I ended up coming in first and it paid $2,900, which was more than I ever won before in a poker tournament. And I couldn't believe it, I was, I was shocked. And so that's how it all started. Um, and how it ended was throughout that period, I would withdraw, I withdrew most of that money. And I could withdraw it in $950 increments. And as I was withdrawing, I was still playing more. So I would still buy in to small buy-in tournaments. And if I busted my account, I would add, in, add on more through their e-check service. And I think it was called NetTeller. Um, and I would add on deposits after deposit. And, uh, and eventually, I found out that the withdrawals were coming out and they were crediting to my bank account, but my deposits weren't being taken out of my bank account. And I would make like sometimes 20 the, the $10 deposits in one week and they would actually when I made the deposit they would post to my poker my full tilt account, but it would never be taken out of my bank account. And this ended up adding up to about $2,000 in deposits that I got credited for my Full Tilt account, but never got taken out of my bank account. So I emailed Full Tilt, I said, hey guys, I owe you like, it's you, I have deposits backed up for a total of like $2,000 that you guys haven't taken yet. Um, what's the deal? Like, I don't wanna just be hit with this all at once. And they emailed me back saying, well, there's a backup in our third party deposit service right now, so just be patient. And then on Black Friday when all the sites got shut down. Um, at first, my initial reaction was, oh good, I don't have to pay the $2,000 that I owe them. And But then I found out that a lot of players lost money, that we wouldn't be able to play on top, the top three poker sites. Uh, that was a pretty big downside to it. Did you wish Black Friday never happened? I definitely wish Black Friday never happened. Um, it ended up I was probably one of the few edge cases where it actually worked out for it because I owed the site money, but I know a lot of players had uh, thousands or some, and some I know even had millions of dollars in their bankroll in full tilt that they just lost. And I think um, uh, Poker Stars ended up paying all their players back, but full tilt wasn't able to. And I know Poker Stars was helping out full tilt, trying to make reconcile the players' money but I don't know if everyone's been fully paid back, but I definitely wish it didn't happen. I wish people didn't lose money and I wish we could still play on Full Tilt and Poker Stars in the US. So it is contradictory. The best poker time is when you win all this money in Black Friday, but also is the shutdown of the website. Yeah, it's definitely contradictory. Um, for me, it happened, there was a silver lining to it, but for everyone else, and, and um, ultimately for me too, it, it was uh, one of the worst things that could have happened to poker at that time. Uh, I, think we're, I think we're getting kind of hungry now. So let's go get some food and we'll talk more about this later. Coming back for the bright side of Black Friday, what did you do when you cash out the money? Oh, like what did I use the money for? Yep. 
Oh, uh, I don't even remember. I think I tried to... I think I spent it, but I don't even remember what I spent it on. I think I used it to pay some bills, and then I think I maybe bought some clothes with it too. But that money, is, that was back in 2011, so that money's long gone by now. <laughs> Do you think it's going to be another Black Friday soon in the poker online? I really hope not. Um, and if I was going to bet on it, I would say probably not. Um, they, I think the government recently just passed a law that made online sports betting not federally illegal. So states could dictate whether they could allow online sports betting within their state. And I think that's moving things in a, in the right direction as far as online poker goes because they're kind of related a little bit. So uh, I don't think another one would happen, and I really hope it doesn't. I really hope eventually um, poker stars will become legal for U.S. players again. What do you did for make it better that situation of Black Friday? What am I doing to make the that whole situation better? Yes. Um, Probably not as much as I should be doing as a poker player, but I know Poker Stars is, spends a lot of their money lobbying for for laws to get passed where it can make online poker legal again. And I have some Poker Stars stock, so I'm supporting them a little bit, I guess, indirectly. But as far as me personally, no, I guess I should be getting out there and, and holding signs for for online poker to be legal. What do you order and for the menu for your food? Oh, okay. So we're at this really good Chinese food restaurant. I've never been here, but Leslie says it's good. And I ordered the shrimp lo mein because I saw someone eating it outside and it looks delicious. So I'm excited about that. Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we got to show it to them when they get here. We got to do the, the food shot. <laughs> All right. So can we eat? No. You got First, some more questions? You have okay. to tell me. You know anyone close to you who win money on Black Friday? Um, I've never talked to anyone that had the same situation to them happen to me. Um, I don't know. I was. I guess I was. I was depositing in small <laughs> amounts, but at a high frequency, and so. I hope that it wasn't me that caused the FBI to see some unusual behavior with my high volume of deposits, but I, I, I'm gonna assume that I, it, it was not just me. That, that it, okay. Can we eat You're now? You're gonna take a bath? <laughs> I'm about we'll to eat. See. So you can keep asking questions, but I'm gonna be stuffing my face. <laughs> I don't know if you want to keep recording. Do you know how to use the chopsticks? Somewhat. Good enough. <laughs> That was a lot of fun, Wes. Thank you for answering all my questions. No problem. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys, and we'll see you in the next vlog. Yeah. yeah. Baby, don't you